Hey guys, welcome back to Techitude. I know it's been quite long since we've released a video on our channel and it's because I got caught up in some personal stuff. So right now we're getting back at it slowly and we'll get there soon as well. Uh, and first of all, thanks for supporting us and all. And this is my first time getting in front of the camera and I hope it goes well. So let's get on with it. And to start off, we are doing an interesting video today. Uh, this is a feature that's quite famous in recent smartphones that are trying to go bezel-less uh, with notches and stuff. So this is how to enable gestures on your smartphone and remove the bottom navigation bar. Just like the iPhone and maybe OnePlus 6. So let's get right into it. So first off, before getting started, let me tell you that you'd need a PC or a laptop to be able to do this on your smartphone. If your phone is not rooted, that is. If it is rooted, then there's no need for that. Once you're on your PC or a laptop, just go ahead and download the ADB tools and the drivers from the link given below in our description. So after clicking on the download ADB link, you'll have to go to download this and you'll have links for Google Drive and other file download sharing sites as well. Once you're here, uh, just click on download and you'll get the ADB setup file download here. Once that's done, just save the file and uh, yeah, you're good to go. So then just open the file that's downloaded on your, on your PC and uh, run it. Give it the permissions that it requires. And then you'll get the screen wherein you'll just have to press Y and then enter. Y and then enter and and then again Y then enter and this will bring up a driver installation pop-up where you need to press next to be able to install this ADB drivers from Google for all Android smartphones. So now that's it. In the, so now that it's completed, let's just. Uh, close this so the next step uh, that you have to do is you have to go and enable the USB debugging on your Android smartphone so to do this you'll have to enable the developer options on your phone so just go to your phone settings and then go to you go to about and then under software click on the build number seven times to enable developer options then go back to your settings main menu scroll down to the bottom and you'll see developer options here uh, switch this uh, turn this on if you need uh, if some or turning on it's uh, required and then just scroll down slowly and you'll find a option named uh, USB debugging and just click on that to enable it that's that's all for the smartphone part so after enabling the de developer options on your smartphone go ahead and install the app from XDA the navigation gestures that is given in the link below in our description or you can just search for it on the Play Store itself. Now after installing the app, just go to, go to your desktop, hold down the shift button on your keyboard and right click anywhere. You will see this uh, option called open, open command prompt here. After opening this up, go ahead and connect your phone to the desktop. After connecting the phone to the desktop, just type adb space devices and you'll see your list of devices present here. Uh, if a prompt comes up on your phone to accept some RSA fingerprint, just click OK on that. Once this is done, just go ahead and copy the command that I've given in the description and right click here, edit and paste and then hit enter. Once you hit enter, it takes about a second and then it's done. Now what you have to go and do is uh, go ahead and open the navigation gesture app. Uh, in that app, uh, grant any permission that it requires you to. Say for accessibility settings, you need to scroll down and agree for it. And just click on next, next, next. And uh, once this all this, this is done, uh, you will be able to see an option to enable gestures. Once you do so, you will see your bottom navigation bar disappear. With, and a small bar appears uh, just above the bottom chin of your phone 
and that is the navigation gesture pill. So to configure that, uh, click on the top right gear icon and then you will, there you will see, uh, click on the top right gear icon and there you will see a lot of options for your gesture configuration, appearance and behavior. You can go ahead and uh, customize gestures for different actions where like you can swipe uh, up and hold for recent apps, uh, swipe left for back, swipe right for recent apps and many more. Uh, then you can also go ahead and change the appearance of the pill where, where you can increase the width, the height and the position of the pill on your uh, phone. And also you can go to the behavior settings wherein you can decide how long you need to hold up the swipe and up gesture for the recent apps to come up and the vibration uh, intensity and stuff. So yeah, that's it. And now your phone is uh, kind of bezel-less at least in on the gesture part and hope you guys uh, found it helpful and surely will be coming up with a lot better videos from now on. And Hope to see you guys in the next one. Do subscribe to our channel and keep on liking our videos guys. Thanks for the support and we'll be back with another one.